Hello and welcome back to the channel. It is producer Pete here. Hopefully you're well. And today I'm going to be telling you about some brand new additions to Adobe Audition. Now some of these updates, when I looked at them, I kind of thought, why has this never been a thing? You know those wee things where it kind of just saves you a lot of time and you're wondering, why you never knew that before? Uh, well, uh, these weren't available before, but now they are. So let's jump into addition. So one of the first things, especially if you are a podcaster uh, or maybe you're just uh, editing multiple tracks at the same time, obviously you'll know to use the multi-track in addition. And uh, you'll have known before if you're wanting to add markers in because uh, markers are that kind of thing. You know, you you mark the edit for bits to take out or maybe if you're making a podcast and you, you hear a certain bit of an episode and you think, hang on, I'm going to use that for a wee bit of a clip. And uh, you go on and you hit M and that creates the marker, right? The annoying thing was that it was over the whole session, so it's over these two tracks here. Uh, but now, what they have done is, if you click, the, say, track one, we want to put a marker on track one. And uh, say there's this little bit here, this is this uh, little clip. Right. Um, and oh yeah, not... okay, that's, a, that's quite interesting. So you're going to click the first track, you're going to click the M once again, and it inserts the marker <laughs> inside the track itself. So instead of this overall marker here in the session, this is just inside this track uh, and obviously vice versa with the other uh, the other track as well. Just hit wherever you want and hit the M and it's there. Because another thing that was quite annoying was if you say you had this marker in the session and you were cutting bits and you were moving things about like that, this marker would stay the way it is. But obviously you can see there when I'm moving it, the marker will move with the track, which, which will save a lot of time, let's be honest. Uh, so that is the first addition that they've put in markers inside the multi-track tracks themselves which is very helpful and again one of those things I kind of wondered why was that never a thing before another thing that I kind of thought why was this never a thing before so you've got your multi-track lined up and uh, you've got the effects rack open here so say you've got a few uh, different effects that you've uh, put onto this channel so we'll just add for toxic we'll just add a, a, an EQ and we'll uh, maybe put a bit of dynamics processing as well so let's just leave it as it is so let's say we wanted the same ones on the second track as well. And I know there's different ways to do this. Um, it might be some of you going to the mixer and I know you can just drag across like that. And that's that's fair enough, that's fine. Um, some of you have maybe used my previous video where I said you can save the effects. So if you have a certain chain of effects that you like and you, you want to save it, you just go on there and you hit the save effects. So you would go to the different track, pull down your effects and choose it, right? But the other thing that they have now introduced, which I don't know, and I and I really didn't know it wasn't a thing until I kind of thought, until I heard that it was an update. I'm thinking, why? And um, so copy and paste, <laughs> that is literally it. So clicking on the the effect you want to copy, and um, Control Copy or Command Copy, depending if you're Mac or Windows. Uh, command Copy, second track, Command Paste. Why was that never a thing before? <laughs> That's a new update that they've brought in to Audition. And the other update, if you are editing, and if specifically if you're editing podcasts or you know long interviews, you'll know, uh, and maybe you don't know this, uh, that if you press play and then you press the L button, it speeds up the play. You know, if you're listening to voice notes and a lot of people tend to listen to voice notes in, you know, times 1.5 or just, just times 2 to make it a little bit quicker. And the, the proper name for it is the uh, the JKL speed. So uh, it basically means what the playback speed is when you press but that. For L the button. most so part. I guess um, there's a play in a way. The only thing was when you pressed L, it went up too high, if that made sense. So, so an know, end of life doula or death. Press the L, because a little bit faster. And, and then it just gets to check once and you don't really understand what is going on. The thing that they have added in, if you go into your preferences, so you're going into your settings and you're finding the playback and recording, you're going to go down to there, you're going to go down to JKL shuttle speed. Now, you can now change of how that speed is affected when you press that L button. Um, so, I mean, really for speech, you're not going to be going to double speed because it's just kind of pointless. But I think, you know, going up by, by 0 0.1 it is fairly... Um, it would speed up your time, you know, if you're editing like an hour's episode, but you're slowly increasing that each time. So um, if we listen to 
So if we listen to it here. I just want to work on this uh, end of things. A little bit so there faster. are trainings available to have people do this as a profession, which is what I chose to you do. Still so, what saying, uh, in end of life, Dula, I mean, each time. Yes, we are. De- we're working with people at the worst. worst pl- so you just press the L button uh, to to get that on. The only thing that I do wish that they they will make, and I don't know, I think I did hear that there was rumors of this, but um, for this the pitch to stay the same. So if you are editing speech and you press the L button, you want to increase that playback ever so slightly. I would like the pitch to say the same. And I, I think it is doable, um, but I just don't know if they've um, kind of found a way how to insert it into addition as of yet. But yeah, it'd be nice to just speed it up and keep the pitch the same. So I, I guess that will be maybe coming soon. But there is three updates to Adobe Edition that may just save your time for editing. Thanks so much for watching this video. Thanks so much for coming on to the channel as well. If you're not already subscribed, please do that. And don't forget to give the video a little like as well.